I'm here again. Welcome back to this series of interviews, I guess, Beyond the Classroom. Very exciting. Today we're here with Solen Matsushita and she's going to be coming in to the school for the next year and let's get to know a bit more about her. Solen, lovely to see you again. Lovely to see you too. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm on my spring break already, so I got to relax a few days. Ah, that's so nice. Well, listen, I know you've already visited um, ISB because we got to meet when you came just a couple of weeks ago. But why? Because I know a lot of people didn't get to meet you. Why don't we give you a chance to introduce yourself? Who are you? Where are you from? Where have you lived? All of the things. Okay, well, I was born uh, in France, in Brittany, on the west coast by the Channel Sea. Um, and I lived there until I was about 14 years old. I uh, moved with my family to Switzerland. I lived there for about 10 years. During those 10 years, I um, spent one year in Japan, came back to Europe, and I moved back to Japan in 2004, I believe, and I've been in Japan since then. So that's a very short <laughs> summary of uh, who I am and where I lived. Wow. And so you're fluent in Japanese? Yes. Yes. So well, <laughs> apparently they say when you're fluent in Japanese or when you speak Japanese, Korean is very easy to pick up. So, yeah. Yeah, I've started. I've started to take some lessons for like maybe three months or so. Oh, nice. And yeah, I think it's easier, like the grammar seems a bit more similar um, to, you know, French or English or any other language that I'm more familiar with. Yeah. Uh, so we'll see. I hope I, I can, I can, you know, communicate at least for the daily life kind of thing. It makes life a bit easier if you can just communicate a bit in yeah. the local language. So absolutely, we'll see. I'll try. Easy peasy. You'll get it. No problem. <laughs> All right, so let's get into your educational background, because I know that you are coming in not as a teacher. So if you can tell us, how are you going to be <laughs> appearing in our school? And <laughs> what is your background in terms of uh, how you got to that point? OK, um, kind of, lo of a long story, I suppose, like um, I sometimes say that education found me more than <laughs> it found education. Uh, but for the background story, I always think it back about my high school time. We had some, you know, study groups uh, helping each other, uh, you know, to prepare for a test and, and that sort of thing. So I was stronger in uh, subjects like literature, humanities, you know, philosophy, that sort of things. And uh, many of my friends say, you're a teacher, you'll be a teacher. And um, at that time, I wasn't sure what I wanted to, to do. Um, and uh, when I was at university, I started to do a lot of tutoring as well. I worked, you know, during uh, summer camps and weekends with um, physically and mentally challenged teenagers. And I realized, you know, I really like that kind of work where you are in contact with people and you you do things together, you achieve goals together and and then move back to Japan. Uh, I started to teach, you know, in language schools and, you know, I just love that, like spending a certain time with somebody and again, having a common goal and creating the atmosphere where um, the person feels comfortable, no matter if you're talking to a child or an adult, it, you, it doesn't matter. And I thought maybe I should really give it a try. And I started to work, you know, in kindergartens. Um, and this is when I decided to go back to school. Uh, as I was working, so I took my, uh, after taking a bachelor in sociology with a minor in economics, I took a bachelor in education, then my master's in education, and then got qualified uh, in history uh, with a QTS, it's from the UK. Mm, so you're a history buff then? Yeah, I love, um, you know, social studies in general. Um, yeah, and I think it's why I picked sociology in the first place, because it's, you know, connected to a lot of different things, history, philosophy, all of the things I, I really uh, have a passion for that. Yeah. So how are you going to be joining us in uh, in the new school year? What will be your role at ISB? Yeah, so I'm joining as the MYP coordinator. So I will be one of the three 
IB coordinator. So we'll have the PYP coordinator, myself and the DP coordinator. And uh, from what I could see during my visit, I think ISB, you know, he's has a solid uh, program as it is, but we, we can always reflect and look at what we can do better. Uh, I think one of the agreement we have or one of the goal we have already uh, with the leadership team is to uh, look at our service learning program. Mm -hmm. And I, as I have experience as CAS coordinator at my current school, uh, I think this is this will be one area where we can try to give more opportunities to the children to, you know, apply their skills, apply their knowledge to the real world. And I think that's the whole point for them to really um, realize that they can have a real powerful role as a person in their community, starting with the school, and then give them the confidence to continue that when they graduate. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I hope I am answering your questions. Yes, you're giving us everything, everything, <laughs> everything you want to know. Um, and it makes sense, you know, the just the timeline of what you've said, the background in your education, it really, it feels like this for you, as, as far as what I'm hearing, it feels like this is kind of a natural progression for you to be able to now be as the NYP coordinator and to be able to implement those things that you're you're looking to implement. Yeah, I mean, you know, after really starting working in schools, and again, I started in early years, worked in elementary school, worked, worked in secondary school, had different leadership roles. I really don't see myself doing anything else but working in education. And um, I don't know, in, in many aspects, you know, it took me a long journey to really find myself and really find what I wanted to do. And I want to be one of the person helping the students, you know, gaining confidence, also telling them that there are so many opportunities and it's okay not to really know what you want to do when you're 16 or, you know, 17. And, you know, it can be, the world can be very intimidating because, you know, you, it seems that you have to have a plan and yes, you have to have a plan, but the world is full of opportunities and I want to, you know, be that window uh, to the world to them so I, I I just I just feel it's my place and I hope I can be that that person and that teacher for for the ISB community oh we are so excited to have you join us we're so lucky to have you and it's so true like I also don't really know what I want to do with my life you know <laughs> like even though even though I'm doing all the things I want to do I thought well 10 years from now what you know, what other opportunities are going to present themselves. So I think that's such an important message for especially young students going through the IB because it is such a rigorous program. And there's a lot of emphasis on, you know, making those decisions for themselves. But those are big decisions. So it's very intimidating for me. So I can imagine. <laughs> how hard for everyone. <laughs> So I want to ask you, I know you visited. It's not your first time in Korea. What are you perhaps nervous about what are you excited about when you join us in just a couple of short months uh I think the excitement is much higher the, than the stress or the anxiety I mean of course you know getting I, I have a whole life here in Japan you know 19 years here I realize I have too many things so I think it's a good also uh, time to kind of reflect on what do I really need um now I'm really excited. Like I wasn't really looking to move to uh, Korea. I was really trying to find a school where I could take my next step and, you know, be part of a, a learning community, a caring community. And I came across ISB, and you know, I I I, I looked the school up. I looked, of course, Busan as a city as well. I talked to the leadership team through the interview process and all of that. And I just, you know, I'm quite an intuitive person. And I just felt like a click, you know, I just felt like this, this could really be the place where I want to, you know, be for some years. Um, and the visit just confirmed that, like, everybody is like, and it sounds cheesy, maybe, but I, I really felt like everybody was uh, very caring, very warm. Uh, I had really... Uh, wonderful talks with teachers that I want to thank if they watch this video. Um, I met some parents as well, talked to some students, of course, the leadership team, the office staff, everybody has been so welcoming and trying, you know, to 
make me feel very welcome. And so I think I don't really feel any stress joining. I'm just excited. I know I will be overwhelmed at times. As you said, NYP, the NYP coordinator position is a big responsibility. Um, so I will be overwhelmed at times, but I'm kind of ready for the wave. Uh, but I'm just excited. And I, yeah, I really, I, I really can't wait to move, to be honest. So. Well, that's wonderful to hear. And I love how cheesy it was. It's cheesy because <laughs> True. <laughs> Everyone being so caring and so kind, but it, it's true. It's it true. is, yeah. And as not only as a staff member at ISB, but also as a parent and just a long-term resident of, of Busan, I completely agree with you. So, yeah, we're really looking forward to having you. Is there anything you'd like to say to our current community before you arrive? Well, uh, I just want to say I'm really excited to be part of your community. I hope, you know, I can be um, a useful member of the community. I want to be accessible. And um, so whoever, parents, teachers, students, you can stop me at any time in the corridor. We can have a chat. We can have a coffee. Uh, we can talk about just, you know, class problems or things that you don't understand in the class. But we can just chat about life in general as well. And uh, yeah, I just I just can't wait to meet you all and have a chat with you all. Thank you so much. So then it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for taking time out of your spring break. Not even today. <laughs> you know, I don't feel as bad when I take time out of people's busy days, but out of your holiday, I'm so sorry. I'm That's really fine. It's lovely to talk to you again as well. Well, thank you so much. And we look forward to welcoming you back to ISB. Uh, and sharing all of your experience and wonderful light and energy with our community. Thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. Doite shimashite. Oh, I love it. Thanks, Alain. See you later. Bye-bye. Yeah, thank you, Laura.